Hey everybody, welcome to RamTV and welcome back to my NBA 2K19 Brooklyn Nets rebuild. This episode is 5, so if you guys aren't caught up, look for a playlist on my channel. And if you're new, subscribe and click that notification bell uh, to be basically told whenever I come out with a new video. And if you like what you see, click the thumbs up button. I'm trying to get at least 3 to 5 likes for this video. And leave any comments below. And here we are for the September 28th game, or 29th game, against the Pacers in Brooklyn. And for those who don't know, I made, I made some more trades here. Um, and they're trading Rondi Hollis Jefferson. I know I'm going to get a lot of, uh, you know, I'm going to get a lot of crap for that. But I traded for Brooke Lopez and Jalen Morris. All of them have expiring contracts. I'm going to try to get to at least a playoff spot. That's what I'm aiming for. So I feel like Brooke Lopez, I don't know, I just enjoy his post game a little more. And our lineup shifted a little bit, changed a little um, minutes. I had the CPU kind of control our minutes to see how well that goes. Um, but we're going to have D'Angelo Russell, Gerald Green, Damari Carroll, Jared Allen from the center to the power forward spot, and then Brooke Lopez. And we have Ed Davis gonna be coming up from the bench as well as Kenneth Farid and, um, oh my gosh. And what's his name? Larry Nance Jr. There you go. Uh, so we'll see you guys in Brooklyn. And let's go. There you go. Finally scoring. Almost four minutes into the quarter. That's just awful. Oh, look at that slam by Larry Nance. Dinwiddie finding him right next to each other for the two. For three. There it is. Alan Crabb with a three on the fast break opportunity. Crab again. Green. Back to back threes for Allen Crabb, and the Nets are suddenly up by five. Yeah, the defense locking down. Locked down. There you go. Uh oh, here comes a slam by Larry Nance. He rocked a cradle on the open, up, open break opportunity. Boom. Oh, 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 oh. oh, that's a steal. D'Angelo with a left handed dunk. Get that out of here into the stands. Jared Allen with a huge block. Joe for three. Got it. Look at the pass by Ed Davis to Brooke Lopez. That's 10 points in the quarter. That's in for the first basket of the game after three attempts. And good how to create chances and just plays the game with his mind as much as his athleticism. Here comes Larry Nance with a poster. Larry Nance, the trailer on the fast break. Duncan on Tyreek Evans. For three, wide open. At the buzzer. Got it. That is Ed Davis cleaning up the board for the buzzer. And that's going to half of the double digit lead. Brooke Lopez muscling inside. 18 points in the game. That's rubbed by 18. The end on the corner. Fareed. Fareed with the putback slam coming out the other side of the court for the one handed putback. Look at Allen diving after the ball. This is a little ruckus. 15 20 seconds here. The steal. Opportunities. Maybe Russell hit this three? No. A Farid with the. Oh gosh. 
Wow, that should be an offensive foul. He just shot him in the elbow. Oof, that's a block too. Pushing the offense. Come on, Larry, come on. Here comes the slam. And that pushes the lead up to 20. Here in the third. It's a mid-range game. Got it. Brooke Lopez with a long two. Three. Got it. They're going to think twice about doubling Brooke Lopez in the post. Because Carroll hit those threes. All right. So it's going to end the game. The Nets are going to finally turn. It's a little misfortune, and we win by 12 against the Pacers. Brooke Lopez showing his presence coming back. Started off on a, on a bad foot, but eventually got his rhythm back here in the Barclays Center. And let's take a look at the score here. We have Brooke Lopez with 25 points, 8 rebounds, 1 assist, 1 steal, 1 block. Ed Davis with 13 points, Larry Nassau 12. And then for rebounding, we had Fareed and Allen as well, had uh, 8 and 7. So look at the blocks here. Fareed and Allen with three blocks apiece. Still got to bring D'Angelo's turnovers a little more. Um, we end up shooting 55% from the field. Um, 42 points from the bench. I feel like they're the ones that really turn things around and basically gave the Nets a lead. This is, I think, a good point for the Nets where they could have Ed, da Ed Davis, they could have Jared Allen, they could have Brook Lopez really work as one in the middle and just close things down. Brook Club is not a great rebounder, but he can definitely, definitely, um, he can definitely score in the post, even mid-range game. Um, but next game we'll be playing is against Orlando uh, in, in Orlando. Let's see here. No, I will not trade Jared Allen. Hopefully no one gets injured soon. Okay, so next game we'll be playing is against Orlando. We are five and four. Uh, we need to move some. You know, we need to move up a little bit in the standings. Orlando is currently five and eight. We are five and four. We are in the playoff race. We are number one, two, three, four, five, six. We are six in the East. So I'm okay with that so far. You know, things things aren't always going to be smooth, especially for a young team like the Nets, but. I'm okay with it. Um, so I'm gonna wrap things up here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, don't forget, don't forget to click the like button. Leave any comments below. Uh, I hope you guys have a great day. Take it easy and peace.